Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa, bringing you another narrated Pokemon showdown battle, and this time I've got a new team, well, it's a little old now, but you haven't seen it yet, and as you may have seen, it revolves around Swords Dance Scalpede, which is a great sweeper, because it's got a powerful Mega Horn, as well as good uh, Edge Quake, or just Rock and Ground coverage, and it's got really good speed too, and also on my team, I've got a defensive uh, Rocky Helmet Drudagon. I've got a Sub Punch Agron, which is just a force to be reckoned with in RU. I've got Uxie to set up Stealth Rocks, and I've got a Expert Belt Mainectric, which catches people off guard. And I've got kind of a bulky attacker type Ludicolo set. And I really like this set because it's got decent special defense and it's got good typing, and it just kind of patches up the typing on my team really well, I think. So yeah, I really like this team. I've been doing pretty decently. I've gotten within the top 100 on the ladder. I think I was number 70. But yeah, anyway, let's just get into battle now. Okay, so he leads off with this mess spread as I decide to lead off with my man Manectric there. And since I am expert build, I kind of want to bluff the choice scarf for the well, more the choice scarf because if I was spec, that would have done a lot more damage. And it's really not doing as much as I thought it would. And I guess I was kind of underestimating, underestimating, <laughs> underestimating Mesprit's bulk. And I guess he is more of a bulky spread. So I don't know. That was kind of stupid on my part, and I just switched into Aggron knowing I can tank any of his hits, but he is going to get a crit, which is unfortunate because that did a lot since my special defense is not that good. But based on that damage, I can take any other hit and hit him with a head smash, which will easily take him down because Aggron is just a monster. He's going to go into his Hariyama, and I see this as a perfect opportunity to go into my Uxie. Because, you know, I'm a bulky psychic type and he's a Hariyama. I mean, yeah. So, I'm going to get my Stealth Rocks up. And there really isn't too much on his team that is going to be hurt by the Stealth Rocks. Unless he has the random sturdy Magneton. But, I mean, they're all Magnet Pull anyway. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just go for Psychic as he switches into his Kling Clang here. And I guess he just did that because he knew he could take any hit I could throw it in, but on the other hand, he is going to get T-waved here, so I don't really think that was too good of a play on his part, but I guess he just did that because uh, so usually Uxies carry Toxic instead of Thunder Wave. I mean, it's kind of 50-50 from my experience, but Clang Clang is a pretty big threat. Um, my Ludicolo is like the only thing that can take, well, my Ludicolo and my Aggron, but my Aggron not so much now because of that crit. And since my only move that can hit him is Focus Punch. So I'm going to go into Dredagon, and I do have Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet, as you can see there. And that means that each Gear Grind hit is going to do uh, roughly 25% damage, I think, to him. So after that, and in combination with Dragon Tail, he is at really low health, which is hilarious. I just love that Dredagon set. It's so amazing. Um, and I go into Ludicolo on the Magneton kind of underestimating its power and overestimating my own special defense and yeah I don't know but I go into my neck my neck trick expecting another t-bolt but he sets up a sub which I thought was kind of questionable but I guess he was predicting the switch there which was a, I guess a pretty good play so I don't know but I could have easily just have stayed in there and outsped him and hit him with an HP fire but I mean most people aren't weird and run HP fire like I do. And I go into Sculpede and just revenge him. And Sculpede, besides being a great Swords Dance sweeper, is also good when you can't even, or when you don't even get the chance to set up a Swords Dance because its great speed can just allow it to come in on anything and just threaten them with a super effective hit because it's got that good Rock Slide Earthquake coverage. And on this Hariyama, I bring in my Dredagon and just sack it because I know my rough skin in combination with burn is actually going to be able to take him out which is just hilarious i think he was like at what 60 percent health and he just got taken totally down by my drodagon's passive damage which is really funny i think and here with his uxi he's going to end up going for the heal bell which i don't see too much but i mean i i don't know it's not bad i guess but i just don't like having heal wave on pokes that don't have reliable recovery but 
I usually tend to not carry yield now much anyway because I'm more of an offensive guy. But here, um, I'm just going to spam Skull because I want to get a burn on anything, and I know his other two pokes can't really switch into it. But unfortunately, I am going to get fully paralyzed here, which I do, which does matter in my mind because he's going to be able to get a shift gear up here while I get paralyzed again, which is really unfortunate because on the next turn he's going to be able to do a hefty chunk of damage to me. And I am able to live it, which is pretty cool because Ludicolo, it's bulky, man. I really love Ludicolo and RU. But um, yeah, so I'm able to take him out. And unfortunately this turn I get another unlucky fully paralyzation. And I guess I can't complain because, you know, hacks is hacks, that type thing. And this is still a good match anyway, despite the hacks. And yeah, so he's just able to take me out now that he's fully set up. And at this point, I'm in panic mode, you know. I was thinking, Oxy, you know, I've got some speed EVs. Maybe I can speed and thunder wave him. But no, he kills me. And Agron, I'm thinking, maybe he doesn't have superpower. Maybe he has Mega Horn. But no, he has superpower. That was just foolish on my part. So I'm down to my last Pokemon, which is my Skullpede. And here, uh, I'm going to decide to do some mind games because Absol almost always carries Sucker Punch. And so I'm just going to go for a non-attacking moves. And he did the not smart play by not spamming Sucker Punch. If the opponent has one Pokemon left and you have Sucker Punches, you just got to spam Sucker Punch if they're using a non-attacking move because they're going to have to attack eventually. So yeah. Uh, I probably shouldn't have won that battle, but yeah, I thought it was a good match regardless. I would have uploaded it anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, you can leave a like. If you want to see more videos, subscribe. Otherwise, I'm out of here. Bye!